So they're not going to be able to shut the – well, I, I'm not going to say nothing. I'm not going to say nothing. We'll, we'll let them figure it out the hard way. If you guys want to hop on the panel, then there's the panel link. Mods, feel free to repost that link if you guys want to. Oh, it's too late now, of course. It's already out there. <laughs> it's already out there. We're going to have some fun tonight, man. I'm feeling froggy tonight. So if we get trolled, it is what it is. Now, we did this story. Um, I didn't have a whole lot of time to really, um, and just to preface this, this is the soda you did. We were originally based on doing panel shows. So we're just going back to our original roots of, of inviting people to come on to the panel, say what they got to say. And we don't want to really turn down anybody. We just don't want to get trolled. We can let anybody say whatever it is that they need to say. One thing that we do here is we have passionate conversations. We get heated sometimes. We show love sometimes. It don't matter what it is. As long as we can come on here and talk as adults and everybody be able to get their points out, then that is what we are here for. So, MG Teru actually said, do you think they had beef prior? I think they did. What do you think, KC? Start us off. Okay. Personally, I... Between those two families, I wouldn't think they would. Because how can you take out something on an innocent child? I agree. And in, in, in that come... manner... You can't roll down the street and hit a baby. A baby. That yes. child was a baby. Yes. You can't run her over if you have an issue with her mother. That is called ignorance. Have you ever heard of Tyshawn Lee? Um, who? Tyshawn Lee, Chicago. No. The little boy that was gunned down in an alley by by like uh, two or three gang members, and they shot him like eleven times in the chest. Mm. It happens. It does. Uh, that is, it is unfreaking fortunate, but it does happen, though. I understand that it happens. You know, I'm originally from Dallas, and I, 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 and I, I ran around in South Dallas, which was a a pretty rough neighborhood. Yeah, I, I've been out there in South Dallas. <laughs> you know, you know, yeah. South Oak Cliff. Oh, that, shit. That's a hard neighborhood. If y'all ain't heard of Oak Cliff, don't go down there. <laughs> you know, Dixon Circle. You know that that's a it's a rough rough area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, but if you can't clearly see a child in front of you, and you're you're driving. I mean, the only thing I can say is her phone was too far up in her up in her face. Yeah. But I mean, I watched I watched the court case today. Mm -hmm. From beginning to end, I watched the sentencing. I watched all of it. And you know, are, 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 you, talk, are you talking about? Are you about talking it. about prior to what I showed? Or so you already saw something other than yes, what? I, oh, okay, 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 okay. I got you. Yeah, um, I'm a forensic scientist um, major. Okay. And um, I actually got my bachelor's degree in uh, criminal justice, so I'm a big um, uh, crime person. Yes. And I watch court cases online and stuff like that. Tell me what you and, thought about this whole thing. She hit the kid, drove off, made a joke with the with the get person at the gas station, then attempted to go to work, and then turned herself in at a later point. And and all of that didn't seem remorseful remorseful at all. From a legal standpoint, what do you think she should have been charged with? What would what would have been appropriate? This vehicular honestly, manslaughter was only one to five years. You know, honestly, sh yeah, she should have got hit with that vehicular manslaughter. Yeah. But then she also should have been charged with um, a murder charge. I agree. Because she killed that child. Yes. She may not have uh, got capital murder. No, yeah, you can't get capital. I don't think you could. You, could, you, yeah, would, you would lose capital murder. She, she didn't 
intentionally do it, maybe. But she she did kill her. Mm-hmm. And uh, it wasn't premeditated, Correct. I don't believe. Right. So, you know, but she should have been charged with it. Okay. Okay, you know, cool. and I don't believe she she should have only got eight years. You know, five for vehicular and thirty six months for the second charge. That's that's bullshit. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. So you don't you don't feel like like what she got charged with matches up with what actually happened? No, I don't. And not to stand up there and say, "I'm sorry." Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. But I'm sorry. That's all she said. Yeah. She didn't. She wasn't remorseful. She didn't say, "I would like to apologize to the family." Mm-hmm. You know, I get. She didn't do that. She was just, "I'm sorry." Oh, I'm sorry. Well, but see, and that's another thing because you also got a chance to watch a couple of things that I didn't get to see because I haven't downloaded, but I haven't watched it. Let me take a pause real quick. And say uh, to the uh, other person that emailed me, uh, Mr. Wilson, whenever you... Oh, also, let me give... Uh... Oh, okay. Let me back that email out because I got to send him music. But uh, to... Um, who's this person? Mr. Wilson, I sent you the email. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, I sent you the panel link. Anybody else that wants to hop on here, click that link. Brother Dwayne, what you think, man? What you think, brother? Uh oh, I can't, I can't, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Oh, brother, that's perfect. There you go. All right, I put on my headphones. Okay, no problem. All right. Um, uh, first of all, this is the accident. So this whole thing about trying to, uh, you know, she is wrong for even driving that car. That's True. why she got the time. True. Okay. Yeah. You got to be honest about that. Hold, that's why she got the time because she was driving that car. Hold, hold she on, wasn't hold, supposed to be driving at all. Hold on, hold on, Dwayne. TJ, TJ, you gotta email me for the link. There's the wrong panel. TJ, shit. Hold on, man. I'm sorry, Dwayne. It's all right. TJ, click that link. <laughs> I can't start. Well, I guess I could. I never thought about that. I'm not gonna have three panels going though. TJ, can you hear me? Yes. TJ, click that link in there. This is the wrong this is the wrong panel. <laughs> oh, this is the wrong one. Yeah. Click the uh, link that I, I left in that same thing that you called me on. Click that link and that'll bring you into the one that me, Dwayne, and Casey are on. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Awesome. Okay. Thanks. Okay, so we got sorry, Dwayne, I'm sorry about that. It was ringing. My bad. You know, like I said, you gotta moderate your show. So you said it was it was an accident. It was an accident. My thing is, I think she panicked because she knew that she was fucked when she doggone hit that child. Okay. And she was just, you know, trying to figure out what hell the tale is. But her behavior after she got found out and, and tried to set the mother up for a fight, that's some dumb shit. I agree. No, yeah. that that was the that was where she went left. Yeah. Man. But other than that, you know, it, you know, it's like, you know, she was wrong for driving the car one. Right. She didn't want to take responsibility. Yeah. Cause That's she didn't, what she didn't go to jail for. Because she didn't have a license or uh or insurance. No, no insurance, no license. And that's what she needed to go to jail for. See that right there, dog on disqualified her in all respect. And then on top of that, try to set a fight up with the mama. Yeah. Because she broke the law. Right. You can't, you can't, you can't be in the wrong and want to start a fight and with the mother the, the, of the child you hit. You should have been knowing that you was wrong from the get go with that. I agree. That's be it's, it's like beyond classy. It's like it's like beyond classness. It's like, come on, like somebody. It's, it's like, and that's why I say sometimes we can we can be a little selfish in these situations when it's just like you have to remember this is about a child. Yeah. What what what, what was she gonna do? What what the mother was gonna do? Drop the charges? The mother don't have anything to do with the charges. Nope. At that time. Nope. Not at all. You can only you can only make yourself uh, worse by trying to what? That was just ignorant on her part. And uh, I I disagree with how y'all was trying to categorize the mother 
with all the stuff she said in court. Because if I was if I was her, I would have let everything be known. Yeah, I now wait, wait, wait. I'm with you, but it's a double edged sword with me, and I'll tell you why. Because number one, I can't remember who it was said in the chat, and they said she's grieving. Now you know we've done stories where okay, like you remember Stevante Clark, right? That that's that's what you that's where you're supposed to let everything be known at in court. She well, didn't go over well, to the lady house and shoot her house up. Well, hold on. Her, you know? Hold on, hold on. Cause I, this... don't, I don't know that, that, that other guy. You talking about the young guy that got shot in the thing? No. His, don't fit the same situation. No, no, his brother. Because they, <coughs> I'm talking about the one that was talking about Stefan Clark. Stefan, like, if you haven't seen it, you definitely got to go back and follow up on you those. That, that, that crazy dude with the, with the sombrero. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's what you're talking about? Yes, that's He's exactly. Just grandstanding. That's just grandstanding. He's just trying to, you know. Well, yeah, but 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 but, but hold on. But but this this is my point about bringing that up because what people were trying to say at the time is they were trying to say that's like they said don't judge him because that's his form of grieving. No. Nah. So so wait, hold on. But this is my point because I agree with you and then I disagree with you at the same time. So let me point out where I agree with you. Okay. Because I was all the way with her out of out of that fifteen minutes, I, I was with her for ten of that fifteen minutes. Cause I she, hear you. Cause she had me about to cry. I'm like, man, that's your baby. You want to beat this girl up? You probably want to take her life. You, Especially I mean, after she's not gonna try to cost me in the grocery store after the fact that you killed my dog. Uh, that that makes it ten times, thirty times worse. See that that's what that's what she's letting the judge know because mm -hmm. at the end of the day. She's pleading to the judge, not the jury. Right, but this is this is the downside. Because with, with with everything, everything must be done with some level of tact, even in the most it's difficult it's situation in life that you could Well to, did. Well to sit there and threaten somebody in court you no, can't. No, she did not threaten her. She said she could have. I could have sent my people over to your house. I could have busted your shit and shot your house up. But I didn't. I let the court deal with it. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll acquiesce to that one. Because I, I thought about it when you said it. I was like, okay, I'll, I'll give you that one. So, yes, you guys are hearing me. I agree with Dwayne on she that one. She, she said you could have came to the hospital and said, I'm sorry for killing your daughter. Hold on, who's got the music playing in the background? Come on. I, uh, on. Come on, y'all know better than that. Come on now. I got this, this thing on. Hold on. I'm literally sitting here talking, and I'm like, wait a minute. This is all this music playing in the background. I'm sorry. It was no. just playing in the background. No, 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 no. It wasn't you. I think it was TJ over there. I'm like, come on, yeah. now. Y'all know I'm, better I'm, than I'm, that. Y'all, See, we, we need to do uh, pedals over here. Get, uh, <laughs> yeah, we need I to. I'm going to go get my uh, cigarettes, and um, my stereo was on loud. I'm sorry. I'm going to go correct that right now. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, I'm just saying, because y'all know we haven't, uh, we haven't had a panel in a while. Maybe we need to start doing these more often. Yeah, but but uh, but to, but to, but to explain, at, you know, I, I believe in, I believe in justice. You know, I, I think that she got the right amount of time, but she should have got more for even trying to. Uh, I would, I don't know why she didn't even go to court for uh, accosting that lady and try to start a fight with the woman that you killed her child. Yeah, not only that, but what about this? Because maybe, uh, maybe, um, maybe Casey can tell me. Maybe I missed this part. I didn't hear them say anything about driving without a license and driving without well, no. any charges. Huh? Did yeah. she have a driving charges. record? Yeah, she had a, she, she, her license was suspended. She shouldn't even been wow. driving a car. And no, no they and, just riding dirty then. Hey, because I'm just saying, hey. think, think about this, guys. Think about this, because I got to get to some more people on the panel real quick. But think about this. If somebody, who's got something going on in the background? I can't tell who it is. Who is it? It's me. Okay. Okay, I, I got... I, I, yeah, Jason Gunn was saying it. Okay, all right, here we go. But this is the whole thing. Imagine somebody like me who is a law-abiding citizen who don't get in no trouble. Let me be caught driving and my insurance is lapsed. What's going to happen to me? You're going to jail. You're going to jail. Um, They're going to refund your car no. and everything. No, they won't. Yes, they'll, you, it, they'll give you a ticket. That teaches if you didn't get an accident, but she got an accident after she didn't already. Yeah. She, she, signed, she signed her waiver. They give you a waiver the first time they pull you over, and if there's no accident involved. But the yeah. waiver, after you uh, get the waiver, they will take you. Yeah. 
Okay, we'll have to safe, we'll have to come back to that, I guess, at, at a different point. But um, the other part <laughs> about uh, the other part about what I was saying with uh, what she said there at the end was when she said, "If you would have did this or if you would have did that, I would have changed my story." No, that's not what she's saying, Jay. She was saying that if I if you would have acquiesced to showing some kind of remorse, I wouldn't have came against you. In this in this endeavor, I would have said, "All right, it was an accident. I didn't mean, you know, I I know that she didn't mean to kill my daughter, no matter how it happened. But since you want to dog on, kill my daughter, set me up to get beat up by your you and your homeboy and your your, your baby daddy because you that you kicked me in my face. face. Yeah, you no, know, that's what she's saying. She's saying that this woman is not showing no kind of remorse in any situation possible." Because not only did you kill my daughter and run off, mm-hmm. but you did, you tried to set me up in the grocery store because you don't want to take responsibility for your own action. So now I'm not going, I'm not going to come on your side and try to get any kind of uh, a pe- a easement for you. Mm-hmm. That's what she's saying, Jay. Okay. I can dig it. All right. Let me see. Let's go to, T- uh, let me see. Let me catch who was on first, Thomas or TJ? Which one? Thomas. Okay, let me go ahead and get my brother Thomas. Thomas, what's happening, man? How you doing? Brother, I'm blessed. Is that me? Yep, that oh, is you. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, thank you, guys. Um, first off, I want to say, um, number one, guys, all right, when you're driving uh, suspended, that's a crime. Once you get in the car, you're making a decision to drive without a license right two Correct. when you drive without an insurance and suspended that's uh, double yes mm-hmm. i mean and the reason i say that because see i've been through all of that yeah and I with that to. said after you get so many driving while suspended then you get a what they call a felony revoked oh yeah, yeah. That right where you get it in the car and then yeah you go to jail actually looking at prison time but it depends on the laws of your state. Correct. So with just that alone, with the driving <laughs> issue, and she hit a young lady. I mean, a young, oh, God. She hit a baby, when the, bro. Oh. A baby. That's a third grader, bro. I know, man. I know. The mom in court. Yeah. Yeah. The mom had me crying. I, I started not to listen to yeah. the story tonight. I, yeah, but I as, can't. as the story kept going on. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry, man. I even do- I normally don't even donate, but uh, when the story was just one of those stories where ah, uh, it touch it touched your heart, bottom, man. Bottom bottom line, the woman should get at least twenty years. I think that's so. just my nah, take on the case. Nah, at nah, least nah. twenty years. Nah. Well, 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 hold on, hold on. Let me let me because of all of what happened there. I mean, it was driving while suspended, driving without insurance, hit and run. This is not not a, a manslaughter, but what you call a hit and run murder. Yeah, because well, she well. didn't she didn't even mention it. She went to work right after the yeah uh, man. That's that's cold and callous. That, exactly. That's pretty cold and callous. No, no. So, so hold on, hold on, just, hold on, hold on, because I don't know how it many went from it went really bad just to hear that she went to work. Yeah, didn't man. Even, let me let me oh, hold on God. hold on Thomas. Let me let me ask this real quick. Because I, I want to reiterate if she were to be stopped for any of those things, somebody like me, if I was to be stopped only for driving without a license, I could get in some big shit. If I were to yeah. only if I would only be stopped for not having insurance, I could be stopped for some big shit. If I was Actually, only, no. If I was, no, 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 no. It's not true. No. It depends on okay. So you so you mean so you mean to tell, so you mean to tell me a three hundred fifty dollar yes. hold on you mean to tell me a three hundred fifty dollar ticket ain't a big thing? But that's no oh, that's gonna be more deal. than that. It's gonna be it's gonna be more like uh, fifteen. Uh, no, it's like two thousand five hundred now. Drive without a license. Depends on what no, state no, no, you no. are in. Okay, yeah, well, yeah. yeah, driving without a license. But I'm talking about like if if we okay. So there you go. We talking about driving without a license. If uh-huh. I were driving without insurance, that could also hit you. For, for quite a few you'll hundred probably, bucks. You probably suspend that one and give you the drive around license thing because every state thing they want to make money. Absolutely, yes. 
So that, now, that's the whole point. And he's going to give you the largest fine and he's going to suspend the other one. There you go. Exactly. So if I were to have my license and have my insurance and hit a kid, uh-huh. depending on the circumstances, could determine how much trouble I could be in. And in the eyes of the common people, like if I were to do it, I might be looked at as a bad person, even if I stayed there, gave her CPR, called 911. It could be viewed quite no, a few different. Oh, hold, 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 hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Let me make my point real quick, and then I will let y'all attack the point. Uh, it could it could be viewed in the, in the eyes of 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 just the social people, not necessarily in the court of law. It could be viewed in a bad way. If I would have no, just wow. if I would have just hit a kid. Now, Ow. if I were to hit a kid and run, that makes it a hell of a lot worse. Then if I hit a kid and run and then turn around and just act, then abandon the car and then just act like ain't shit happened and then turn around and go to work, that just adds a hell of a lot of insult to murdering a child. You so, keep on saying uh, murder. You didn't murder anyone. It was an accident. That's not an accident. That's That's an accident. A if if you accident. stayed at the scene... And you are doing everything possible to save that child's life. Then that would be an accident. You do not look like a monster. You look like you are trying to your damnedest to save that child's life. But if you leave that scene, you are a monster. Uh, I don't see that. I think that she got she got caught up in her feelings. It was the wrong thing to do. Okay, now wrong thing to do. Oh, go, go ahead. Go, go ahead. If go I ahead. may, if I may, real fast, guys, and then I get out your hair. Oh, you, you uh, good? You good? You good? That's the thing that really put the nail on it. Yeah. Once he went to work and didn't even say anything about it, then she. Re- that's what really made it a real crime. I mean, that's when it really well it went over the top when she just kept going and didn't stop. Yeah, but man, that's when so she just went to work and didn't even say nothing about it, yeah, that that's that's when it becomes a murder because you're trying to cover. No, it up does a- not. No, that does not. That does not do that. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. TJ, TJ, are mm-hmm. you okay? What you yes. what you what you think? Chime in for me. Oh God. <laughs> um. C- catch any yeah, point that you yeah. like. Okay. Okay. Let me let me just gather this all together here. Okay. I'm listening to what everybody's saying, but if she okay. One question. Were there any cross guards present? No. no. Usually not for bus stops, no. No. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Because I thought that they lived around a school zone at first. Usually for bus stops, I don't know. I don't know of, of very many bus stops. It looked, like, it looked like it was a busy, pretty busy street. The way they, the way they, uh, uh, done. this is not a neighborhood. And also, and also to add to what Dwayne said, <laughs> what they were, what the mother said was that they, they had been practicing for her to be able to start walking to the bus stop safely. So she yeah, knew about I was going that car was going pretty fast. I know that. So and yeah. she was distracted, you know. Yeah. So she she was she shouldn't have been in the car see, period. That's the whole point. Exactly. That's uh, why she got that time. The lady the lady shouldn't have been driving. Yes. She That's why she got she the had, time. If she had her license taken away, she should have known better. Common sense. Call somebody, pay them for gas to take them to work. Take the city bus, get a cab, take Uber. Yeah, drive, ride I mean, a bike. Common sense. That's. I mean, if you are not legally allowed to drive, there are other different ways to get transportation. Agreed. It's not uh, like it's a horse true. and a carriage, and we're living like in the freaking you know eighteen hundreds anymore. Yep. Common sense is something that a lot of people. And, and most people in the black community, it's not because they lost it. No, they choose to mm. not have common sense. And I think well, this woman, I think so. she had the option to have common sense. I mean, that's all it took was common sense. Well, you know, she probably was going to the, to the store to get some cigarettes. And she think it's a light thing to go and get, I'm just going to go down here and get me a soda and some cigarettes. She didn't think that she was going to have a, the situation where she's going to hit a kid. Well, but 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 well, hold on. She said she was had. She said she was had. Altercation prior to that, didn't she? No, no, no. It it was after. Yeah, it was after. Now, now, now. Let me let me add this in there, because remember, after she hit the kid, where did she go? To the store. To work after the store. Okay, yeah. So she she's trying to. I I honestly think that her mind shut down, and she was just trying to you know, you know. 
It's like a kid that got caught with their hands in the cookie jar. And the crumbs but, all over uh, everywhere. You're going to act she like was, nothing has happened. When she was at the gas station, she called her mother to ask her, what does she need to do? She, she trying, she's trying to hide. She's trying to get, get out of the situation because, one, her license is suspended. She knows she's in trouble for that. Mm -hmm. Two, she don't have no insurance. Mm -hmm. Two, and then the next thing, she hit a kid. Yeah, it wasn't like she hit another car. I, yeah, well, you know, I, I just want to say, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. We got to give everybody their, their time. Uh, who, who was going? I, I just want to say real quick. Go ahead. Tom. All right. Maybe the word murder's too harsh. I don't think so. But we definitely would agree with manslaughter. Yes. I, I disagree. I, would you agree with manslaughter? No. It's, hell yeah. hell, hell no. Hold on. If it, hell no. If it was hell no. It would be classified as manslaughter. It's it manslaughter. That's exactly what manslaughter is. Let me ask you guys a question. And for everybody that's still watching the show, if y'all want to hop on here and chime in, y'all got to click that link. I put the link out there for a reason. You're overreaching so, a little bit, Jay. That's let, all I'm saying. Let me say this. Have you guys ever watched this movie called Law Abiding Citizen with Jamie Foxx? Yes. Yes. No. yes. Why, yes. why did that yes. dude end up going to kill everybody? Why? Uh, cause they were all involved in, uh, his daughter's case. They were involved, but what was the involvement that sparked it? What was the thing that sparked it? What did the uh, dad, what did the dad right? want? But, but Jay, you got to look at hold, intent. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just asking a question. What was it that sparked that whole slew of that I man killing know. everybody? The thing that sparked it was because he <laughs> said, that what you should have did was you should have charged this man with this. Jamie Foxx told him, he said, but if we would have charged him with this, we would have lost the case. So what the what the father's problem was, was he said, at least we would have fought. I would have fought for what I thought was right. Oh, okay. You see what I'm saying? He was mad because he was like, I don't care that the law is what it is. We need to fix the law. But at least in this case, Give me what I'm asking for, and I want a murder charge. So I, I think I think I think they 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 said like manslaughter in the third or something like that. So the dude was gonna do like two years in jail over killing that man's daughter and his wife. Wow. <clears throat> so how do I relate that to this? Is because my personal feeling coming from a father of a, of a little girl that's and that's the issue. That's roughly. I think my daughter. I thought my daughter was a couple years older than her. My daughter is actually only like a year older than her. Roughly, roughly about a year and a grade above her, yeah, and I and I think and I think about that. And if I were in the position to talk to the to the uh, district to the district attorney and the prosecutor, even if they say, "Hey, we can definitely get this charge," if it were me, I would I would rec charge. I would recommend. I say I don't give a damn if we lose it. I want to know, and I want to know that when I go to the pearly gates and I meet my daughter, I want to tell her that I fought for the harshest sentence possible for my baby. Cause what that and woman did, what shit. that woman did was some bullshit. Yeah, exactly. All exactly. right, all right, hold on, hold on. Her leaving the scene of the accident is another crime. Her getting, her out, getting, her getting out of bed her and grab, oh, her getting stop, out of bed, stop, stop, her stop, getting stop, out of bed, stop, stop. her getting out of bed and grabbing the keys was bullshit from the jump. Yeah, that was, I that agree. was crime right there. I agree. <laughs> That's why she got the time she got. But her hitting the kid was not murder. It was an accident. She didn't intend to hit the little kid. No matter how it happened, she didn't intend to hit the little kid. Which is why most people that end up in car wrecks don't intend to end up in car wrecks, but that's why they force you to have insurance. And I got license. you on all that. See, all that stuff is paperwork and all this stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But you got to go by what she actually did. She got, she got, she got put in jail for eight years of her life for hitting that child and no leaving the scene of the crime mm -hmm. and the fact mm -hmm. that she, her license was suspended mm -hmm. and she had no insurance. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's why she got the eight years. Now, if she would have had a license and insurance, would she have done the time? Uh, would she have got? Uh, if she, if everything would have been right, if she would have had her license and she would have had insurance, they probably would have gave her three years. I think I, I, I think what I would have to do is I would have to look at some more hit and Not run cases. Run. I'm just saying, I'm just saying that's probably what happened because I, they're going to say, well, she was in a right to drive, but she she got she got in this accident and she pull off the scene. So they probably would have gave her a nice fine. The mama would have got uh, 
her full death benefits from the child because because of the insurance and everything like that. That's legal. Mm-hmm. You know, she didn't mean to do this. Like it wasn't malice. It didn't have no malice intent. What was malice intent? Now she need to go to get charged for uh, run up on a mother after the fact. Well, you know what? Is something else I'd like to know, Dwayne. What the speed limit was at that street? Because you know another That's thing. Irrelevant. You want to know why it is relevant? But it's not. It's, like, it's hold on, it's hold on, hold on. But there's a. But you always have to remember, brother. There's a reason why I always ask a specific question. All right, good. The reason why that would be relevant <laughs> if the speed limit was 35 on that street and she's driving 55 or 56 or above. Guess what they call that? Reckless intent. Reckless intent. Yep. Reckless but endangerment. Still, but 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 that's and, still and you, not and, a murder. No, that's actually just something because, that just because, actually wait, hold on. That actually, that, that it, alone it could be uh, another charge. Yep, that alone. Can, that wait wait hold on. That uh, because I know this for a fact because I'm I, I ride I ride bikes I, I race. Uh huh. I know for a, and I know a lot. I'm I'm not gonna throw my dudes under the bus, but no pun intended. But I know a lot of my dudes that be out here running from these fucking police like dumbasses. I don't do that. And I don't advocate for that. But I do know that if they get caught driving uh, 20 miles or better, it's considered reckless driving and you could lose your vehicle and you could lose your license. Yes. It's actually called reckless endangerment. But that's still not a murder. No, 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 it's not. I'm it's, just saying it would have made it. It would have made it worse. a felony charge. Yes, it is. Yeah, that's yeah. that. that it's, so that would have been an additional charge. It would no, Dwayne. You're missing my point. What I'm saying is that I, I, I hear your point. I I'm, hear I'm your just point. saying there would have been the, more more stuff to throw on top of it. I got you, and they probably would have been suspended when she got the the the, uh, the manslaughter charge. No, it wouldn't. It would have been a third felony charge. Uh, ma'am, you don't know that. You can't say that. Well, You're not, not a lawyer. Well, that's why I'm asking questions, though, because most <laughs> most of us commonly know the law now, because now, 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 because we, well because most of us have driver's licenses. So in all actuality, uh, yeah. hold on, Dwayne, but wouldn't that actually make us somewhat of a legal expert in the field that we are participating in, which is driving, which you have to know the law when you drive? That's but that one one don't have anything to do with the other. It kind of it kind of does though. No. Wait. It no, kind of does. Not. Because no, you it have, does not. Because you have no, to go through the not. state. Just because, just because I got a CDL just because I got a CDL, me don't got nothing to do about me doing this. I got a, I got a commercial CDL license. That means you should know the law. Oh, yeah. that, mean, that means you should know the law. I do know the law. That's my point. And I studied the law. Yeah, I hear you. But so so wait, 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 wait. But you're saying we're not experts in that. But I'm saying when it I'm comes to expert. driving. I'm an expert. I'm a CDL holder. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What I'm saying is when we say we're not you're experts. Not. I'm a CDL holder. I drove big rigs. I've driven buses. I don't know uh, if that okay. counts. All right. Does, does my that... thing is even in that situation right there. I, I'm not. What I'm saying is, is, is in the field of expertise with this particular thing is most of us drive cars, which would be a <laughs> class D license. In order uh-huh. to get a class D license, you'd have to study the test. And that test is based on the laws of that state in order for you to qualify to get your license. So all I'm saying I mean, is that when it comes to knowing what you can and can't do, what you could and couldn't get in trouble for as far as driving, period, we all over the age of 16 that have licenses should be experts in that particular thing. Yeah, well, Based I, on the law. You, you're, you're splitting hairs with this whole legally type situation. Uh-huh. And my thing is having access to drive a car does not give you a, 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 a thing on court and what the court sees and what the laws of the court is going to see. They're going to drop, they're going to drop some things when you go to court, especially when you're, they're going to look at what happens here and they're going to look at the intent and everything like that. And the whole point is she did not mean to hit this little girl. Let she me, didn't want to get. She didn't want to get stopped by the police. She didn't want to hit this little no, girl. No, 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 no. That, that, does, that doesn't. That doesn't equivocate to that. That's not what I'm equivocating. I'm, I'm making. Is, can I say something real quick? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Whenever you go to court, most court, excuse me, courts will charge you with. Um, like 
three, four um, charges. No, not all of them. No, let me let me finish. Let me finish. If you have felonies, they will. But she didn't have a felony. She had two. No, she got yes, charged. Yes, she did. She got charged. She got charged. Are, are, you, are, are you talking? Are you talking about beforehand, Casey? Whenever they were in court and she was getting sentenced, mm -hmm. she, she charged, was charged. She got charged with evading, uh, leaving the scene of an accident, and uh, no insurance. They because of the accident. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hey, hold on. Hold on. GSD oh mom. Hold on. GSD mom actually asked a good question, and I don't know that I can find this out quick enough. But mm -hmm. she did ask a good question. Why was her license suspended in the first place? Because right. if she had that a license, relevant. if she had a license that had it taken, it could make a difference, though. So let's just say, for, hold on, let, me, don't let, really let me finish. Wait, 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 just stop, 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 stop. Hold on, hold on. Finish. Hold on for a second. Let me tell if you what. they are being charged with felonies. Yes, right. <laughs> if she would have had <laughs> reckless yeah. endangerment, that would have been one more felony. That could have boosted her time in jail. It could have. To 15 years. Depending, yes, it could have. But let me... Let because me... reckless endangerment is a very harsh crime. Well, maybe somebody can look that up and, and, and Google it or something like that for that particular state. If, if I may chime in real fast, though, also yeah. when it comes to court, now one, if she took a plea deal and depending on how the judge wants to sentence her, uh -huh. they can take felonies and they run them what they call concurrent. That is correct. Yes, and that's so, what they did. Yes, that's, that's and what so, they did. And so, you know, in that case also, that also makes the time less. That is correct. Yes, yes that's correct. Yeah, on point with that. Side. And she did. She and, did. And, and she so, pled guilty. Yeah, so she she did what she was legally able to do. So, you know, I, I have no qualms with that. Like I said, if I do. They didn't, they didn't run it concurrent. You know that, right? They ran it. They ran it uh, separate because she would have got just a, a five year sentence and that would have been it. She doggone got eight years. So they, yes. they ran it concurrent. They, 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 they ran it the, the other way. You know what? Because, because, are, are you are yeah, you sure? Are you no, sure? They ran it. They, they, um, she was supposed to get five years. Right. Are you are you sure? She would have just did the five years, but they doggone did it. They gave her the full length of the law. Are yeah? They, are you are you sure about that, everything. Thomas? Because I think he's right about that. Because <laughs> the one when I read those charges, they said like 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 two to five years or something like that on on two 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 different charges. So she yeah. had she had five years on one and then thirty six months on another. Yeah, if, if they ran concurrent, then that would mean that they would be within Just that time frame, you. and they and they should and overlap each other. Once she gets out, she will be on parole for three years. God damn, man! Yeah, so she she got she got she got she got a upcoming. She she got a spanking. And Are they going to let her out due to uh, good behavior? Uh, Probably I don't. Not. Yeah, I don't Probably. know. I don't. I don't think they can with that. Um, I didn't hear anything about that. No, oh, okay. yeah, but they, she's gonna come back up in, in review for about you know probably at the five year mark. But yeah. with that woman and with the, how she acted after the, the the accident was over with, with trying to get her her the mother beat up. Yeah, I oh, doubt geez. she'll get out. I wouldn't. You I know, wouldn't, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if, gonna... if the, the mother goes to the parole hearing. I I bet. I bet I she. Bet I she bet she does. Yep. I would. Especially yeah. if you, yeah. you kill my kid, right? bruh, I'll be there. I'll be there with my best Sunday school suit on. Let me let me read yeah. let me read what uh, Jason Gunn posted in the chat. Cause oh, actually, I'm sorry. Let me go back because I missed a lot of what was uh, posted in the chat. So let me see if we could do anything with this. Matt said, "FBI URC Table 43A." Check it out by race. Black people constitute 13% of the population. Of okay, well, now we've already talked about, let me see, if black people come. Okay, we've, that's a whole different, that's a, that's a, that's, yeah, that's a different show. Okay. That has nothing to do with it. Yeah, yeah, we've talked, we've talked about that kind of stuff before. So let me, let me catch what, uh, let me catch what Jason said. Jason said, reckless, reckless driving is a criminal, Reckless driving is a criminal offense in Ohio. Ohio reckless operation is punishable as a minor fourth or third degree misdemeanor, depending on the number of previous convictions. And that's why I said it could make a difference as to what our license was suspended for. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, we should be, we should be able to find that. Somebody wait, wait, wait. And that. also, two peoples, Carrie and Chaz said her license is suspended for life. Now, now, yeah, wait. That's now, what they said in court. Now that, now that I'm gives me a that. lot of pause right there. You know how how fucked up you had to do something to get a license suspended <laughs> for life. Because I don't know if you guys have had y'all like, I know y'all, some of y'all might have not had y'all license suspended. Maybe you have, but I know I have. No, I, I, I have you. I just got it back. I've had mine, I, I think, over my, over, since I was 16. So you're talking about a good amount of time that I've, I've had the privilege of driving. I've had mine suspended maybe twice. I had mine suspended. I just, I just got my license back. I just had to be fourth on laws, get my license back for having, uh, driving without no insurance. And so I hit somebody. Like a, I drive like a grandma, so I don't worry. <laughs> so think about that. Think about that. How bad? How bad is whatever she did to lose her license for life? That means in her natural life, she can never drive a car legally again. She probably could. Nope. She probably could. She probably could. Uh, uh, after so many years, probably go back to court, and she, but it's gonna cost us some money. I don't know. I don't no, know that judge that. said she'll never get it back. Nah, the judge can say so. All she want to say. He, she could go back to another court and appeal that. That's what the appeal process is for. And all things in law are not final. It's so true. Yeah, we might look. I, I'm I'm gonna do y'all like this. We might have to take a pen, put it in there, and come back to that. <laughs> yeah, because one just because one judge overreaches don't mean that you know that that that's a little emotional overreaching with that. But I guess she was trying to appease the parent Cause it's because much... that, that that the lady did act atrociously. Yeah, she did. The one that the one that the one that, especially after she killed that lady kid, and then she's gonna doggone try and gang up on her in the grocery store. Yeah, that's that's. Just... Yeah, yeah. She now she added more fuel to the fire. Yes. That she already yeah, started. that's why that's why all that stuff, all them bricks came down on her head. Karma does have an address. Yep, and it landed <laughs> right on my ass. <laughs> oh man, this is this is crazy. I, you know, I don't know why I didn't think we we might need to try to do some more of these. Like, <laughs> look, when, whenever uh, maybe we'll do it like this. Maybe whenever we each show, if we get more than two hundred and fifty <laughs> people watching, I might just have to throw it out there and see if people want to join a panel because we that's pretty damn good for us to hit almost three hundred people watching at two. 1 and 2 a.m. in the damn that, morning. This is awesome. <laughs> Thank you. You know something, Jay? Uh-huh. This, this is kind of like an online jury duty recess session. You, you oh, just, my yeah, God. oh, yeah, you could definitely say that. <laughs> you could definitely say that because think about this. There's no reason why all of us couldn't end up like getting jury we duty. We come to the verdict and we're having like all kinds of like, <laughs> that, Got right? a, a court review. <laughs> Uh huh. <laughs> yep. That's, but we that's... don't get paid for it. That's the thing that takes away from it. And plus, you know, nah. you don't have to tell our boss we can't come into work today. You know, <laughs> I can't see a ball late at night. <laughs> yep. God, I'm glad I'm retired. No, I'm disabled, so I don't worry about that. But you know, I am I too. I never had to do jury duty. I mean, uh, here's a question. Why do they make people uh, go to jury duty? Do they choose people to do that or something? Yeah. I well, they, 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 want, they want to get the they want to get the uh, cerebral incompetent to be on jury trial. <laughs> oh my goodness! That's why. That's why they get so wow. many people up there. They want to cut out the people who are too smart for their own good, and they don't want you to have freedom of thought. Mm -hmm. They want to get some people that's ready to go back to work. That's why they get. That's why they have twenty four jurors for for a trial of twelve. Pen, 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 and they send pen. in these poor people not no, not having any knowledge about the case, just only like the basic highlight of it. Well, it it's just like it's just like it's just like with the police, with all the shootings and stuff like that across the country. They don't train them well, and You're for somebody about and for somebody to go to court and be able to rule over somebody's life, they have to be a certain level of intelligent mm -hmm. they don't look for people that want they don't they don't want nobody in with intelligence to be on the jury trial because they question You're everything right to the prosecution that. huh that, that, yeah that, yeah they'll probably look back at people's gpa in high school and stuff oh you had a 2.0 okay your iq oh 
you don't know how to read, and you barely can spell your name. Oh, you'll probably you'll probably make it on the jury trial if you did have a that stupid. They don't <laughs> smart people. No, you they said that R. Kelly couldn't read and write. He's a perfect candidate. Yeah, they don't want smart people. They don't want nobody to um to go against the prosecution with the facts that they present in court. You know, they don't want reasonable. They don't want reasonable, rational people. They want people that's that's ready to go fair. back to work. That's not fair to people who actually are intelligent, who actually have been through so many hurdles and school and all that stuff to study just to stand for something like that. Well, you know, that's the that's a that's a legal process. They the lawyer mm -hmm. get the um you know the lawyer gets to pick out I think it's like five or ten people just off the uh, just off the look of you. Oh, without wow. no beef or whatever like that. You go there and they say, Well, I want to excuse uh juror number six, seven, eight, nine, and ten without cause. Oh, okay. That takes me back because my aunt, she would always, when she had to go to jury duty, she would always show a little cleavage. He said the best thing you can do when you go to jury trial is you get your hair done, uh, get your shoes, Get um, don't wear no real high-end shoes because if you wear high-end shoes, anything like that, you're going to be kicked off the jury. Because they don't want I, professional I go people on uh, I didn't go Hold on, hold on. Let me. Hey, let me cut y'all off just for a second. GSD mom, if you want to hop on here, no, you don't have to uh, show your face because you, you know, you've been a, a major donator from the moment you, that I first saw you in the chat. So, uh, GSD mom, if you can hear me, say something in the chat so I can see that you heard my message. I'm posting a link out there because we're gonna wrap this up here in a moment. Uh, and y'all, let me see. GSD mom, I'm sure DJ will mind. Hell no, I don't mind. <laughs> Tell GSD mom to hop on here. She can speak, absolutely. Please. But but do it kind of quick because we we got it. We got to end this. Actually, uh, I look. I can't lie to y'all. I want to. Uh, <laughs> this ain't got shit to do with what we talking about. But I kind of want to talk. Ahead. I want to kind of talk to Vic about what he was that show he did a, a little while ago. Go ahead, man. I ain't gonna talk to him right now, but. I kind of want to talk. Bro, I'm up. Shoot, I'm up like fire, boy. Y'all had me all hey, hot. Hey, I, I, I Give it a murder charge. Kill it now. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie. Before, uh, before I, before I came on watching the show, I was listening to that wild ass conversation Vic was having. Yeah, he's already offline. Matter of fact, I don't know if I want to throw that out there in the air. Go ahead. No, I don't. I don't. Never mind. Go ahead. No, I'm good. Cause I, I don't want to bring bring the, the the person's name that he was having the conversation with over here. I don't I don't want them problems. So I'm good. All right, all right. I'm maybe maybe I'll talk to him offline. I think like you that. like to argue. Yeah. Who me? Yeah, you. Look at you. You just like uh, to argue. You want to hug? What? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? What said, did you say? Do you want to hug? I go get a hug for my husband. <laughs> what are you smoking? I ain't got nothing to do with that. I said, "Oh, you smoking?" I ain't say nothing about nothing else. I said, "Oh, a uh hug." -huh. What are you smoking? Oh, I'm not. I'm out. <laughs> what are you smoking? Uh, I'm smoking a a, a cigar. A blunt. I know what you're smoking. What? <laughs> Bong, bong, what you, bong. What do you think I'm smoking? Bong, bong, bong. Teach oh, you got to gotta be very <laughs> okay. Well, that's me. That's me. That's me. Uh, Teach your tongue in it tonight. <laughs> uh, hold on, Matt. What did what did what did Matt say in the chat? Matt said there ain't nothing in here. There is nothing in here illegal. Hold on, Matt said. Uh, I would Just like got nicotine. Matt said, I would like to do a show with you about how the public schools and teachers union let down black children in spades and how a slow rolling genocide unfolds in the black community. Uh, Matthew, wow. Matthew Lingyo, if you are still in the, uh, in the chat, shoot me an email and we can set that up. You know, my mom was a teacher and still is a teacher long time. My sister's a teacher. My cousin's a teacher. A lot of my family members are teachers. I even talked for a little while my damn self. So I'd be Can happy. Put input on that? Yeah, I would be happy to uh, to talk with you about mm -hmm. that. If you would, uh, if you would shoot me an email at the so do you dig at gmail.com. 
and we have to set up a time and a date for that conversation because I've got time. I think, uh, shit, I done forgot what day of the week it is. Today is damn Thursday. So maybe Sunday, maybe Monday. That'd be about as early as I could do it. I think I gotta, I gotta work today or later today. So I don't I know. I had a topic for you I haven't sent yet, but um, it's a really long topic because I've actually have grown up in an abusive household mm-hmm. and times were not easy. Um, I was, you know, I was treated like, you know, the boys was treated. You know, my father wasn't around and you know, make a long story short, I've been through all of that stuff and I left the plantation and a lot of things changed after that. It seems like we went from having a a family tradition where families stayed together and it went from that to women choosing to sleep with anyone. There's no fathers in the home. And this, that's why I like this show, because it, it hits home every single episode, just like um, Tommy Sotomayor's show, just like the Raw Truth show. I mean, I don't understand why you guys get attacked for telling the truth. But, you know, nobody, nobody, nobody want to hear the truth. You know, I remember people, you're right. I was so lucky to have the mother that I had growing up. I don't even remember her even seeing a man. My whole childhood. She kept it under wraps. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. Well, I never remember seeing my mother with the mother man. Uh, the only person I know that my mother even thought about sleeping with was my father, and they was on the, the outs. My whole entire life. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you the cold part about what Dwayne said was the fact of how many mothers. And kids and, and, and little boys that saw their mothers with um all kinds of dudes coming in and out of the house. Y'all hear that story happen all the time. My, my last my last girlfriend, the last girlfriend I had would you know about over ten years ago. She would replace a man every three months and the children knew it. Wow. The children knew it. Why is he still mm. around when I was there with her? Mm. Hey, it's let's, time for him to go. Man, that's crazy, man. Let me say what's up real quick to the yeah, CX to the crazy. CX community, man, because y'all know the CX community recently came over and supported Tommy while he was uh supporting uh <laughs> you know one one of their people. So uh, we, we got one of the uh CX members in here. So let me say what's up to Zombie Stressing, man. You guys roll deep, bro. Purple bro. army, purple oh, army, yeah, purple army in this bitch, man. That's dope. So I'm yeah, man. Hello, everybody. CX. Yeah, shout out to CX man in the building, you guys, and, and you guys always have a home here in Soto Nation. If you guys ever want to come over and chat, or or just spam the chat, I'd be more than happy to have you guys over here. So yeah, they that's very friendly. I will say that. Yeah, very friendly, bro. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. I thought, didn't know what that CX was when I was on Tommy Channel. I was like, hey, mod up. <laughs> <laughs> you like block them, block them. No, no, yeah, not them. They cool. Well, I didn't know that at first, but then when after it got cleared, it, it was not, you know. Yeah, yeah, it was understood. Just, after all that. you just saw was CX for ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, they just like, you know, like, some Chris Angel type of shit, you know. Yeah, like a magic trick. Tommy, you know how Tommy go off? What is this CX shit? What mods? Mods? <laughs> yeah, that was crazy, man. I thought it was a Pokemon <laughs> statement at first. Oh man! Hey, who is oh. who? Who is Susan in here? Who is Susan? That's me. That's Ooh. Susanna. All right, just well, your mom. Oh, what up? How are you? Yeah, it's just your mom. I got you. What's that? Yeah, what up? What up with you? Oh, I'm in a hospital in Brazil, but that's no big deal. I want to go back to the um, defendant of the crime. Absolutely. Go ahead. All right. She didn't make just one mistake. She had a series of bad actions. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Where she got a suspended license for whatever reason, she yes. chose to drive with it. She chose not to have insurance. She chose to use her mobile phone when she ought not to do. Mm-hmm. She chose to run away. And she chose to wait many hours before contacting the police. True. So, That's she was when she says she was one mistake, 
she didn't just make one mistake. She made many mistakes. Yeah. She's getting really only one year for each mistake she made. That's a good point. Yeah. yeah. You, every, every year of that lady, that little girl's life. Well, too. Uh -oh, hold, yeah. Hold, so hold, hold yeah, on, but, hold on. Let's let's give GSD mind the floor. Go go ahead. Go ahead, sweetie. So what I want to come back to is that her sentence is extremely light. If you add up all of her bad acts and all of her mistakes in a row within a relatively short period of time. Mm -hmm. And then to go to her question of mental incompetency, low IQ is not really, at least in the UK, a reason that a person cannot, <clears throat> excuse me, cannot stand trial, a rape. Mm -hmm. And I believe in the United States, if to be a juror, you either you own property, you have a driver's license, or you're registered to vote. And those are the three requirements you have. And they'll pull your name like out of a hat. And you go yeah. to the house. It's random. And, and they pick you or they don't pick you. Mm -hmm. And an attorney, I think, has five jurors he can dismiss for no reason i said that's it that already ma'am yeah so anybody can go in and be a juror it just depends on if the prosecution or the defense likes you or no but i want to go back also to how the little girl died yeah go ahead yeah. she died of a broken neck yeah hold, hold on hold on hold on go 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 ahead gsd go ahead yeah this is more my specialty she died instantly yeah, uh -huh. that on impact. Yes, so the little girl didn't suffer. Yeah, because her brain was dead. Yeah, she didn't have a chance. That, that's, that, that's one reason why I don't go with y'all when y'all say she need to get thirty years because no. after she hit that girl, it was over. Yes, so that's why she. That's why she should get. No, that was accident. That was a predicated on accident. Whatever happened. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, because because we because pretty much all of us have already said our piece on this. GSD mom, why do you feel like she she should have gotten more time based on you know your opinion or or the facts or whatever it is that you want to add? Go go ahead. He killed the child with her bad acts. Bad acts. I'm sorry. I'm using it. Well, oh, I can just say something else. My bad. Yes, yeah. he killed that child the minute he hit her. Uh -huh. It doesn't matter what she did it before or after. He killed the child in that. But that's not murder. Having an accident is not murder. Hold on, hold on, hold on, you guys. We we got we got to hold our mule for a minute because we literally we we've held we've held the floor for a while. So, so you know, um, go go, go ahead, back, go ahead. I'm coming back to the bad acts, okay? She did four bad decisions before she killed that little girl. She needs to be responsible for those four bad decisions on top of killing the little girl. I agree, killing the little girl would be probably involuntary manslaughter. Mm -hmm. Yes. But to add in her prior bad acts, that suspended license, the no insurance, the cell phone thing, the driving away, the not calling That's the right. police after she drove away. So you're, you're, it's not just that she killed that little girl. She put together a chain of bad acts. Mm -hmm. Now, That's in the UK, that chain of bad acts counts against you. And Susan, that's why they gave her the maximum they gave her. Right, but they didn't charge her. I think with everything they could have charged her with. But they don't. They usually don't do that. In a, in a court law, they drop some of the lesser charges and give you the maximum yeah. of the bigger charges. Right, that's they what happens in this country. Yeah, they drop lesser ones in order to increase the possibility of getting a conviction. Um, a plea on the higher one. Yeah. In my, in my experience. And that's what they did. And they did not run it concurrent. They ran it secondly. run it secondly. That's why. That's why she got eight years. Right. But I'm saying they missed 
No, they dropped those charges to get right. the other two other charges. I, in. Right. Um, yes, I understand perfectly. But what I guess I'm trying to say you is don't that think it's right. for, those prior bad acts should have changed the um the charge up a notch. Well, I think I think the, the, the main charge she should have got charged with after the fact is her trying to accost the mother. Well, yeah, that's that. Yeah. Well, well, let me ask you this, GSD mom, real quick. In your opinion, based on everything that we know about this case, if you, <laughs> if you, if you are the one saying this is what I'm going to give you to serve as punishment for this crime, as a whole, what would you, what would you, what would you say? Uh, eighteen years. I double it. I disagree. That's okay. Like I said, look, but think about this because we all have have kind of given a different verdict about what we thought, you know, um, she should have got. I think everybody said something different. I'm going on the laws of, I live in Brazil mm -hmm. for the year. She would have gotten 18 to 20. Yeah. I doubt it. what she did. Mainly running away, you know, if you put a child and the child is on your car and breaks your windshield, your windscreen, you know, you hit that child. Yeah, it's, I, not, I, I, it's not like it's a so, oh, surprise to hit that child. You know, a crone is not as tall as that little girl. I see, no. I see this, Susan. I could see if it wasn't an instant impact thing where she snapped her neck. If it was a thing where she was on the road suffering a long time, I would have went with you on that. But the deed was done when she hit the car. When when the little girl hit the car. Now it's a it's a it's a a bad circumstances to say this, but it was she was dead from the point of impact. She didn't sit on the side of the road suffering and in, in, in vomit and she did your brain. Uh, after your after your brain ceases to have blood flow if you follow me which is uh, part of the broken neck believe it or not you have five to ten seconds of consciousness because your brain still has blood flow okay um, hold on hold on hold on wait 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 stop stop everybody stop everybody stop your head fall down. everybody stop for a moment i got a video I'm I'm echoing somewhere on somebody's, but I have a video that was just sent to me. Maybe this will give us something to wrap this up with, and for something, maybe maybe something to be a little more definitive about what we think should have actually been charged with. So give me just a second, because some of you guys, if everybody could do a, do me a favor and mute for me. Matter of fact, everybody in the chat, give prayer hands to Jay McLovin if y'all would. Jay McLovin is in the chat. Show her some love if you would, please. Everybody on the uh, on the chat, I need Casey, uh, GSD. If y'all would just hit that mute for me, I'm gonna I'm show you guys a video real quick. Let me see. I have a video that was sent to me, and we're gonna watch this together, okay? Because I haven't seen this yet. So, Sister Chaz, give me just a moment. <sighs> Let me get this up on the screen. Y'all bear with me a moment, okay? It's got a lot of fucking ads on the screen. Jesus Christ. Hold on, guys. <laughs> I had to mute these advertisements and everything else. Damn it. So from what I was told was this might be the reason why she didn't get, uh, she didn't get, let me see, what, what did the message say? The driver who hit the nine-year-old girl in Euclid uh, that morning, um, this may help why she wasn't charged with more. That's, that's the title of this, okay? Oh my God. First on okay. I hope it's it's I can play this from the beginning and this ought to give us all the answers that we need, okay? Hey, classy young man is in the building. What up, bro, bro? 
Ad plus. I, I, I might have to get a fucking ad blocker because this is bull crap. I hate this stuff, man. This shit is slowing down my computer. But for the culture, we're going to do it, okay? So can everybody on the screen see what I have on the screen? Now I can't see y'all shit. Okay. Can y'all see what's on the screen? Give me a thumbs up. Can y'all see it? Oh, I know how. I know how to see y'all. Hold on. Let me swap y'all over here. Let me move y'all chat over here. Oh, good. Okay. Give me a thumbs up if y'all can see it. TJ, can you see me? TJ, you still there? Yes, I can see you. Uh, GSD. <laughs> So, yes, I can see it. KC. Yes. Can you see it? Yep. All right, here we go, guys. Oh, let me reiterate. We're using this by way of fair use. All right, here we go. I've heard for a very long time. And I was like, oh, my God. First on five, a little girl fighting for her life. We're digging into whether a construction project forced her into the street. A little girl hit by a car while running to catch the school bus. It happened this morning. Witnesses in Euclid say after the crash on Babbitt Road, that driver just kept on going. News 5's Paul Kiska discovered that little girl may have been trying to avoid a closed sidewalk. And Paul, how is she doing tonight? Well, Danita, sadly, the last we heard from the Euclid Police Department is that this 10-year-old girl is, quote, in extremely critical condition. After 911. Oh, a child just got hit. She was running across the street. The car hit her and kept going. I looked out my window and I seen the little girl lying in the street and I heard a lady scream, oh my God, oh my God. Neighbors saw the aftermath from a 10-year-old girl being struck by a car. The impact so hard, police collected several parts of the car from the roadway to help them identify the hit and run vehicle. It happened on Babbitt Road in Euclid at 6.55 a.m. Bashira Perry said the girl was running to catch her school bus. Police told me the girl was hit on the road in front of this dirt pile where skid marks could be seen. It's not known for sure, but the girl could have been trying to avoid this closed sidewalk where a construction crew has been working. Neighbors said police worked desperately to help the girl. Then the police came and they was trying to revive her for a very long time. But we saw her and we saw the police trying to give her CPR. Police told me. Okay, for everybody uh, that's saying it's buffering, please don't time them out. Uh, don't time anybody out. Not tonight, guys, okay? Do me a favor. Everybody's saying the same. Damn it. Don't time anybody out, please, if y'all can hear my voice. Okay. Damn it. Hold on. We've been doing so good. Please don't time anybody out. Please, please, please. <laughs> I know it's buffering, but I can still I can still see it from my cell phone and my cell phone my cell phone buffers from time to time. So everybody's saying the same thing. Don't time anybody out because we, we were timing people out for saying the same exact thing. So hold on. Okay. All right. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Let me take this down. Now, for the people that are watching on the show, like I say, yeah, you might have timed out the wrong person. It's okay. So I apologize to uh, Carrie Ann. Carrie Ann, I apologize. <laughs> Just do me a favor. Don't time anybody out if we would, please. I know we have one troll in the chat. It's okay. Let them say their little stupid stuff for now. So, okay, they said we're, we're back good. So let me try to show this again because I, I got too much shit running on here and it's probably slowing us down. So I'm going I'm to back to... So guys on my on my panel, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to rewind it, okay? That's fine. Okay, here we go. Let's try one more time and I'm going to turn my mic off. Here we go. Trying to revive her for a very long time. And I was like, oh my God. First on five, a little girl fighting for her life. We're digging into whether a construction project forced her into the street. 
A little girl hit by a car while running to catch the school bus. It happened this morning. Witnesses in Euclid say after the crash on Babbitt Road, that driver just kept on going. News 5's Paul Kiska discovered that little girl may have been trying to avoid a closed sidewalk. And Paul, how is she doing tonight? Well, Danita, sadly, the last we heard from the Euclid Police Department is that this 10-year-old girl is, quote, an extremely critical condition. After 911, our child just got hit. She was running across the street. The car hit her and kept going. I looked out my window and I seen the little girl lying in the street and I heard a lady scream, oh my God, oh my God. Neighbors saw the aftermath from a 10-year-old girl being struck by a car. The impact so hard, police collected several parts of the car from the roadway to help them identify the hit and run vehicle. It happened on Babbitt Road in Euclid at 6.55 a.m. Bashira Perry said the girl was running to catch her school bus. Police told me the girl was hit on the road in front of this dirt pile where skid marks could be seen. It's not known for sure, but the girl could have been trying to avoid this closed sidewalk where a construction crew has been working. Neighbors said police worked desperately to help the girl. Then the police came and they was trying to revive her for a very long time. But we saw her and we saw the police trying to give her CPR. Police told me the girl was in extremely serious condition right after the accident. Police say they identified and found the vehicle that took off. Police told me the female driver ended up turning herself in. You run somebody over and then you keep going like you don't even stop to look if they're OK, especially a child. So that's what I was shocked about. I wish I would have seen the car because I would have turned this person in. You didn't even have enough compassion to stop for this little girl. You just left her in the streets. Just a, a tragic shame. Now I want to draw your attention to something this night. Uh, this is the sidewalk just feet from where the hit and run happened. This morning there was a pile of dirt here. There was orange cones. The sidewalk was closed as the Cleveland Water Department worked on a water line. About an hour ago, we saw a contractor come out here, remove the dirt, remove the orange cones, and quickly put down some patchwork, some asphalt here, and reopened the sidewalk tonight. Live in Euclid, Paul Kiska, News 5. Okay, sorry about all that, man. It's too much going on in the screen, but y'all can hear it, though, right? Yes. Yeah, we can hear it. Yeah, sorry. About uh, we, know, we know that it was a, a crazy situation. Hold on, it's me... still sad. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't change my mind at all about what happened, though. Damn, now I've lost, I've lost y'all on the screen. It just, it, it just explains something, but it doesn't change. Being human is being human, and, and people doing bad things is human. Just because they did bad things don't make them a bad person. What made her a bad person is how her, how she handled it in the aftermath of all the other stuff like that. Exactly. I can understand. I can understand how she panicked, hitting a little girl, having your license suspended with no insurance. She her shit was fucked up, and I can understand that she she went off and did that. You know, you got to be a little bit sympathetic for her situation. But her actions after she she turned herself in is just dreadful. Right, but it was her total error that she got her license suspended, and she had no insurance. She was in control of that. Well, I, I got you on that, ma'am. I'm not I'm not saying that she's right. She's wrong. My license was suspended. I didn't get behind the car. The only time I got behind the car is when my friend got was pregnant. And she had to go to the hospital. Well, that's a good reason, <laughs> definitely. But I'm just saying, you know, we don't know why she was driving in the car or whatever. Like that. All we know is she hit this little girl. And, uh, you know, she paying for it. She's she going to be in jail for eight years. <clears throat> I noticed something that uh, her mother did in court. I understand her mother's pain from both uh, sides of her actions. Yes, she's going to vent and tell her. You know yeah, right. how deep she feels about her daughter's life being taken, and of course she is gonna replay in her mind. That's why she started to get angry because that's a traumatic situation. You know, yeah. I'm not a parent; I don't know, but I could just imagine if that was my child, just having that replay in my head over and over and over. You know, 
that mm-hmm. that would make a tick in the courtroom too. But you're right; she should have wrote it down if she could not contain her her emotions. If she wasn't right. sure about containing her emotions. But she she should have said she should have said well she you no know, my thing is the judge need to hear how that lady acted after the fact. You know, when you run up to me in a grocery store and you get mad at me because you hit my child. I want the judge to know that this woman don't don't have no remorse. She talking blaming me for her hitting my child when she should have been driving a car. Yeah, you're exactly right. That's true. That's true. I don't think, though, that I could have left it like this woman did with her daughter being uh, killed like that. I you didn't. actually had me thinking on that one. Yeah, you actually had me thinking on that one. Because if there wasn't any police reports of this woman harassing her, yeah, the judge had the right to know what happened in the streets. Yeah, that exactly. exactly. Mm, bro, that, that, that's, gone on her, that's gone on her face when she didn't get kicked by her boyfriend. Why in the world are you getting mad at this lady Whoa. for you hitting my child? Her whole entire eye was beat red, full of blood, because her sister's boyfriend popped her right in the eye with his foot. The mother? Yes. No, no, oh, that man. girl's sister's boyfriend kicked the, the baby's... Mama. Um. Yeah, mama's face. That's what we said. That's what we said. And it's so like, are you serious? That. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what she can. She can get another charge for inciting a, 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 a fight. They should have arrested his ass. Excuse my language. Yes. But he should be doing time it? like she is for that. In she, the states, you call it I would, a I would, I would, I would, I would, I would press charges against him. That's what she should have done. Instead of coming in and just getting her, I would got him too. All them dog on jokes was dumb as hell. And you heard, you heard what the mom said. Frantic and press charges. I would have snapped out of it and pressed charges if I was that mother. She can still do you, it. It's not too late. I know. You heard what the mom said. All you had to do was say you you're sorry. That's Come what to I'm me. Saying. Apologize. Yeah. Pray with me. And that girl couldn't even do no shit like that. That, that's why that's why she got the eight eight and a half years or something like that. I think it was eight and a half, something like that. And that's why I, I was I was kind of like on her side a little bit until I heard what she did to the mother. <laughs> and I was like, oh, she got what she deserved. But eighteen years and all that stuff like that, that was a little overreaching because people get shot and they get seven. See, I'm so you know, I it, it, it's no accident in that. Yeah. My friends get shot. And they, bad, a murder charge, you take a gun and you shoot somebody in the head, there ain't no accident involved. No, that's not. That's <laughs> not and they get seven years. So she got eight and a half for an accident. I have, uh, I have cousins of mine that were accused of rape. They did not rape this lady that accused them. They are still in jail. They've been in jail and in prison since 1991, since I was about three, four years old. Mm-hmm. For a crime that they did not commit, and this woman gets this amount, that much amount of time, something, something's wrong with that. Well, you know, she she got what she deserved. She got what she deserved because she was in violation. My thing is, I'm not saying she got the time because of the accident. I'm got uh, she got the time because her license was suspended and she had no insurance and she left the scene of the crime. And then my thing is, the the the, the caveat for all of those three things is her accosting the mother. That's why the judge gave her all of that uh, uh, not concurrent. Yes, so then, didn't, didn't they mention that? Didn't she have kids too? Didn't the mother said that her kids might not be in her custody? I don't know. It, it, that uh, was, that's, yeah. a, that's exactly uh, that's exactly what she said. Yeah. Yeah. But, she you know, that, was, that. That, was just, that was just mean talk. That was just you know, I'm a, you know, I just want to stab you one time. All right, guys. Yeah, guys. I'm, gonna it, I'm gonna do it in the. I'm gonna do it in the court of law instead of in the street. Guys, yeah. Yeah. hold on. Yeah, hold on, guys. Let's do this, man. We gotta wrap this up. We have been live for a while. Let me look real quick. Hey, I got a. I got an idea for you. Well, hold on. For a show. Hold on, just a second. Hold on, just a second. We've been live for three hours and two minutes. I'm gonna have to actually cut all of this out. 
I'll hold on to it so that way I'll keep it in the archive, but it's going to disappear eventually on the replay. But you, I think right. people ought to be able to watch it for I think like twenty four hours or something like that. But I don't want you. I'm gonna. To, I don't want y'all to be yeah. surprised whenever I cut this part out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say thank you to everybody that came through. Almost three hundred people watching. That was pretty, damn. That was pretty dope. Uh, That's awesome. Yeah, the, your dig is definitely growing under under this regime. I'll say it like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down the list for the people that we have on the panel. Uh, Brother Tom uh, Thomas already hopped off. But so let's start with who wants to go first? We'll give you closing thoughts and then we're gonna wrap this up. Ladies. Ladies first. TJ, you, <laughs> you wanna give your closing thoughts? Wow, well, we all learn from this situation. Mm. But for people but for people who are driving, keep your eyes open, keep your phones down and at least keep one like one headphone out of your ear. Keep your Bluetooth out of your ear. Look around you. And if you see children crossing the road and cars are coming, try to assist the, the children. Just at least try to do that. That's all I can say about that. Okay, mm -hmm. hold on just a second. Just have to be cautious. Go ahead, somebody else. Hold on, just a second. I'll see that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just a second, real quick. Because I was getting ready to address this person. So, I just had to block somebody. I let y'all troll, and you continue to troll, and you continue to troll, and you continue to troll, and now you're trolling my mods. So, good, good, good night, good riddance. Don't come back. I've, I've asked you guys they, they, and I've, they I've, have nothing else better to do. I've begged, I've begged you guys. <laughs> I said, is. I said, I will let you say whatever you need to say as long as it's not disrespectful and as long as it's on topic. And y'all think I'll be bullshitting? I, I don't hardly have nobody blocked. I have be, I have begged my moderators not to block people. Well, now when I block you, it's a wrap. Period. Mm -hmm. Period. All right. My apologies. Let me see. Uh, GSD mom, go ahead. Give me your closing thoughts. Then we'll go to KC. Then we'll go to Dwayne. Okay. I hope you can understand my accent that's coming and going. I'm in a hospital. Um, my question also revolves around the fact that in the beginning, they stated <clears throat> that the woman was going to plead that she had diminished capacity. And none of it, we haven't got into that. So maybe that's a separate discussion. Because there's nothing diminished about this woman, but she was going after diminished capacity to go into a mental hospital instead of a prison. Hmm. Is that all you want to say, GSD? Yes, that's all I need to say. All right. It's an honor to have you on. KC, let's hit it. Uh, can, I, can I tell you something real quick? Go ahead. I have a show idea for you. It's actually my husband's idea um, about Black Lives Matter, how they only come out when white people kill black people. Mm -hmm. We talk um, about that all the how, how about one where Pookie and Ray Ray is out there killing somebody? Where are they when they're... Where's Black Lives Matter when uh, black-on-black -black crimes happen? Well, let me ask you a question. Let me let me interject. Where has KC been when I talk about this all the time on the You Dig? <laughs> I'm watching you. I watch you, You Dig. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to watch me faithfully, KC, because I talk about that all the time when I talk about the pro blacks. When I talk about hey, Black Lives Matter or BL, um, BLM, all actually, the all, all the time. Me and my husband are faithful watchers. We were faithful watchers to Tommy. Awesome. Yeah, heck yeah. That's that's dope. And I actually um, wrote to him all the time. Mm -hmm. And I'm one of those ones that uh, would write to the advised show. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Do me a favor. Don't, and, don't, do me a favor. Don't name any other YouTubers, though. Don't name drop. Okay, yeah. my bad, my bad. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, um, those people don't exist. I would write to other individuals, uh -huh. and I would slam um, 
stuff to them and they would call me a white supremacist. Yeah. They would tell me I hate black folks. I hate black folks. Yep. It's, it's, if I hated black folks, then why am I married to a black man? It's, it's, and why are you talking to some, huh? It's, it's, <laughs> That's it's, right. It's just like using the word. Um, it's just like using the word you know, bash. It's it's a word that don't mean don't, nothing. White yeah, supremacy. Don't let them get to you. I mean, their words are so irrelevant. White supremacy you don't know, mean nothing. That word. I hate. I hate it when people use the N word. I have beat the shit out of my brother for using it, and you know, I hate the the. the if if we can, if we can if we can keep it concise, let's do this. I'll tell you I'll tell you this, Casey. If you want me to do a a specific show about that, then I think that would probably be best posed to a panel, and I and I I think we could probably get that done. What you think about I'll that? I'll join the panel. Okay. With, uh, if you wanna, if y'all in for that, I'll join. Cause, cause we've done, we've done it a few times when like, when like Hundred Club and a couple other pro black folks when they come on and we and we have those type of conversations. But yeah, we could we could probably do one specific to that. Now, um, okay. now, now back to the specific story. Do you want to close us out with your thoughts on this? I do. Get to my brother I do. Dwayne. You know, um, I want people to be paying attention. Mm-hmm. It only takes about five seconds, five to 10 seconds for an individual to lose sight of uh, what they're doing. And when you do that, you can change an individual's life yeah. and your own. And you sometimes you can't come back from that. And instead of harming yourself and somebody else's um, life, pay attention. It's free. You ain't got to pay for it. So hell, why not? Okay. Just, you know, this whole story, it's so sad. And it breaks my heart, and I know it breaks other people's hearts. And, you know, there are so many stories out there that is just like this one. So the best thing we can do as adults and, you know, even young adults that are coming up now, put your phone down. These cars out there... They have Bluetooth. Use your Bluetooth. Yeah. Okay. It's too easy. Thank you for allowing me on your panel. Always an honor. I'll say, yeah. say the same. Hey, I, I look forward to another one, man. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to do this more often, man. I, I think, shit, I think we had a powerful conversation. What would you say, TJ? Because I got to get the brother Dwayne and get him on the floor. I, I said thank you for letting me on the panel as well. Oh yeah, Thank you. yeah. My it's, it's it's my honor. Like I said, that's that's what we started this. That's what we started this channel on. Last but not least, brother Dwayne, you want to go ahead and hit us with your closing thoughts? All right. right. Um, the situation with the driver that ran off on the little girl, her negligence and her not being able to take responsibility for her own actions caused her to get an eight year sentence. And her bad acting really uh, it really stuck the nail in the coffin for me because uh -huh. you know, it was one thing it was one thing to you know for whatever reason her license was suspended she she got you know she probably would have did you know i know i know it's a 15 uh 2500 fine here in georgia for driving without a license wow but, you know, i don't i don't uh, i don't i don't think she meant to kill the young lady i mean the, the little girl but her actions after that with her reckless behavior because she didn't want to take responsibility for her own choosing. Like, like uh, Susan said, I think this is Susan. Uh, that's my issue with her. And that's why I think I'm glad that they threw the book at her and told her she can't drive a car. She's going to have to go back to court and spend a whole bunch of money trying to get her license back. It's going to be a lot of money. So, mm -hmm. you know, she, she, she got what she deserved. But the thing that she's murdered somebody, that's a little overreaching. Because I, I don't think that she went out, when she cranked up that car, she got in that 
car and drove off into the sunset to get a cigarette or liquor or whatever. I don't think she had intentions that morning to hit, hit that little girl. No. Oh, for work? Cigarettes and liquor? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We, we well, got I'm just saying, no matter, which, no matter which way it went, I'm just saying, I don't think her intentions mm-hmm. was to hit a little girl on the way to the store or wherever she was going. No, I don't going, either. Guys, we got, we got, we got, Ray, Ray, we, uh, we got to, we got to wrap up, guys. We can't continue the conversation. We could talk oh, about no, it. I'm, off, I'm, off I'm, I'm ending it. That's, that's, that's the, that was my whole point. Oh, I, 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 I was just saying, I wanted you to be able to talk un, uninterrupted. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Well, well that, that's my whole point. I, I don't think that she mentioned anything, but she just didn't want to live up to her mistaken choices that led up to that situation. Mm-hmm. And her running off, everything that happened after the fact when she hit that little girl, that's why she's in jail. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, that's it. All right, guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up like that. I'm going to go ahead and thank my panel for joining us. I'm getting ready to click off of you guys so I can go ahead and wrap this show up, okay? All right. All right. Thank you guys for joining the panel. All right. And I'd like to say thank you to Soto Nation, man, for joining us. This has been a hell of a show. Hell of a conversation, and I think we might end up having to do some more, um, some more actual uh, panels, man. Because you know, we just haven't done no panels in a while. <laughs>